Hi friends, welcome once again. Uh, well, in previous video, I was talking uh, that the derivative of any constant function is zero, right? Due to the lack of the ta uh, lack of the time, uh, as I am using the YouTube, I cannot make the longer video than the 15 minute, right? I I get stopped there, and I was talking that the derivative of the constant function is zero, right? And before that, we talked, uh, we learned about the uh, about the algebra of the derivative right how the algebra of algebraic rules of the derivative takes place right in the in, in addition right uh, in, in in addition of the two function right in addition of the two function in subtraction of the two function in multiplication and in division how these all takes place and we learned the product rule and we learned the uh, right product rule also we learned right and then we learned the quotient rule also right here we learned the quotient rule also here and uh, I, I told you that the derivative of the constant function is zero uh, let let me do a, a small example. Suppose f of x is uh, equals to c constant, then the derivative of the f of x right will be equals to zero. Means derivative of the constant function is equals to zero. Simply that that I want to say. And now I'm doing a small example of this that uh, that it will make you more clear here, right? <coughs> So let me take a, a small function. Suppose f of x is equals to three uh, x square plus two x plus four, right? Uh, uh, let me write this this constant by this constant by four by different color. Here the four is the constant term, right? So if we want to find out the derivative of this function, right? dy by dx. So simply I'm writing f prime x, right? So derivative of the f prime x or dy by dx. Of this function will be simply uh, as we have learned the <coughs> uh, the algebraic rules. Then the derivative of this, derivative of this, and derivative of this will be our uh, real derivative of the whole, right? This function. So derivative dy by dx of 3x square plus 2x plus 4, right? What will be derivative of this? I'm now uh, finding out over here. So it will be three times. See, it is x square. It's just like the x to the power n, right? It's just like x to the power n, and the derivative of the dy by dx of of the x to the power n is equals to n times x to the power n minus one. So yeah, uh, it will be again n that is two times x to the power n minus one. That is two minus one again plus this constant times x to the power. If there is nothing that there is one, right? Then here n n will be working as a one. So one times x to the power one minus one times again now this constant term this is this this 4 is a constant term so the derivative of this 4 will be 0 now right so that I was exactly telling so derivative of the constant term is 0 uh, it's, it's 0 right so now simply what will be our derivative 3 to the 6 right I'm going to write directly so 3 to the 6 x 2 minus 1 that is 1 so we don't write 1 and now 2 times 1 times x to the power 1 minus 1 right that is uh, x to the power 1 minus 1 that is x to the power 0 and x to the power 0 is equals to 1 right in algebra we have learned this so now it will be 2 so our derivative of the function uh, is function f of x is equals to 3x plus 2 that I actually I was uh, telling the derivative of the any function uh, of any constant function is equals to 0 right and if there is uh, su suppose there is something uh, something it was uh, just a derivative a constant part now suppose if the, we have to find out the derivative of the 4 then it will be 0 derivative of the suppose you wants to find derivative of the derivative of the uh, suppose 100 then it will be again 0 derivative of the any constant term is 0 just understand this okay so in next video we'll be learning some more problems of the derivative and more concepts of derivative so i'll be back bye bye